Hey, what's up guys? Mr. Lucky here. Today we are going to talk about adding and subtracting decimals to the thousands place value. Okay, let's do a quick review about adding. If we've got two numbers that we want to add, we put them on top of each other. Just darken that one in there. If I wanted to add 11,617 and 6,431, we start from our ones place value. Seven plus one is eight. One plus three is four. Six plus four is 10. So I'm gonna carry my one. One plus one is two plus six gives us eight. And then we have one here. So our answer is 18,048. I know what you're thinking. Mr. Lakey, we know how to add. We're in grade five. Yes, I know you know how to add. So that's why what we're gonna do next is gonna be super easy. Okay, let's take a look at what would happen to adding if we put a decimal in. I'm gonna take these two numbers that I have right here and add decimals. Okay, so now what I've done is I've got 11.617 plus 6.431. Now, let's put that into our place value chart. I know, you're thinking, oh no, another place value chart. It's okay. This is the best way. So let's do that right now. One in the tens, one in the ones, six in the tenths, one in the, sorry, in the hundreds, and seven in the thousands. Now, the decimals I've already put on here and they're lined up. That's the key to adding decimals. Six in the ones, four in the tenths, three in the hundreds, and one in the thousands. Get rid of this. Okay, I'm just gonna put the plus sign right here and we're gonna add these numbers. Now, like I said, the first thing that you want to do when you're adding decimals is line up the decimal point. Okay, we've done that. So we've got seven plus one, that's eight. One plus three is four. Six plus four is 10. Now, we've still got to carry the one. So we put that in the ones. One plus one is two plus six is eight. And then one plus nothing is one, okay? So our answer is the same before we had 18,048. Now we've got 18 decimal 048, okay? So when we add, step one, line up the decimal points. Now, here's a curveball, okay? What happens if we have different numbers of place values? Well, let's take a look. Okay, here I've got 6.342 plus 3.2. Now, you're thinking, well, if I just put these together, the decimals aren't gonna line up. You'd be exactly right. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna line up the decimals in the place value chart. All right, let's take 6.342 and put it into our place value chart. Six in the ones, three in the tenths, four in the hundreds, and two in the thousands. Now, let's put 3.2 into our place value chart. Three in the ones, and two in the tens. Now, you're thinking, I don't have any more numbers to put in. Well, that's okay, because we've talked about this a little bit in equivalent decimals. We're gonna put zeros in here. That does not change the value of this number. 3.2, is the same as 3.200. Okay, now it looks just like the other one. So let's add it up. Two plus zero is two, four plus zero is four, three plus two is five, and six plus three is nine. So adding up these two numbers with different place values is just a piece of cake. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right. Now, let's talk about 
subtracting decimals. Okay, subtracting decimals is exactly the same as subtracting any other numbers that we want to do. Now, let's have a look at this. 21.495 minus 4.316. Just like in adding, our first step is line up the decimal points. Let's use our place value chart to do this. In the first one, we'll put 21.495. Second one, 4.361. Okay, now we've got our decimal points lined up. Okay, I'm going to put my minus sign here, and we're going to subtract as we would any two numbers on top of each other. 5 minus 1 is 4. 9 minus 6 is 3. 4 minus 3 is 1. Now, we can't minus the 1 from the, or the, yeah, we can't minus 4 from 1. So, what we're going to do, just like regular, borrow from the 2. Now, we've got 11 minus 4 is 7. And then 1 minus 0 is 0. Or sorry, is 1. <laughs> what a guy. 1 minus 0 is 0. It's 1. Okay. Now, the answer, 21.495 minus 4.361 is 17.134. You're saying to yourself, I got this, and I know you do. Now, the other thing we talked about in adding decimals, what happens if we don't have the same number of place values? Let's have a look. Okay, we got two numbers here with different numbers of place values, 4.452 and 3.12. Now, when we are subtracting things, we already know that we need to put the bigger number on the top. So let's line up our decimals and see what we have, let's see what we can do. 4.452, 3 decimal. One, two. What am I going to do? I don't have enough numbers. You guessed it. We're going to make an equivalent decimal by putting a zero in that place value. Okay? Now, we can do the exact same thing we just did. Two minus zero is two. Five minus two is three. Four minus one is also three. And four minus three is one. There you have it. We've just added and subtracted decimals. We've added decimals that had different numbers of place values, and we've subtracted decimals that have different numbers of place values. If you have any questions, make sure you contact me on Classroom, email, or Google Hangouts. Okay, great job today, guys.